On tonight's program, I take a ride on a real-life ship of Theseus. I try my hand at street photography in a small city whilst holding a video camera at the same time. And I replace diegetic music at the bar to avoid copyright claims. Welcome to another charity shop special. Now, for $7.99 times 1.093, at the Goodwill in town, you can have a 35mm film point and shoot. Unexposed film not included. This time, I got the Kodak Easy Load 35. It's an automatic compact point and shoot equipped with 29mm at 5.6 Actinar all glass lens. There are just a few different exposure and focus modes along the off-taken-for-granted self-timer. So yeah, I went to the Port Orchard boardwalk as usual for a test shoot, but ended up taking a quick jaunt to Bremerton. Before we continue along on our journey, there are at least a few things you should know about this Easy Load 35 camera. Now, assuming this was the KE60 version, which I didn't know until I peel off the label that the thrift store put on, we're looking at Something like a program shutter with speeds going from 1 60th of a second to 1 400th. A minimum focus distance is 0.5 meters and support for DX coded film of ISOs 100, 200, 400, or 800. It takes a K123LA battery, but a CR123A also works just fine. Now the copyright year on the manual for the camera is... 2002, which makes this a rather young, recent point-and-shoot camera, at least when compared to most of my other film cameras. To put things into perspective, this Minolta SR1 is the oldest film camera I have in my collection. And the newest film camera in my collection is this Kodak Actar H35 that I bought back in 2023. And once again, the obligatory photos of the welcome sign. And then next is the ride on the Carlisle II. And that was how I made my commutes to college back in 2019, before the pandemic hit. It's about a 12 minute ride and an opportunity to enjoy and photograph the scenery. At 29mm and f5.6, however, you are limited to wide angle shots with a deep depth of field. This is, however, a more flexible option than a simple use type fun camera. Also, think of a local ferry or water taxi ride as a way to get out of the water for cheap.
I was like, disembark. Ferry, one of my favorite little bars, is just a short walk away. It was once known as the Manette Yacht Club Bar. Then it became the Outpost. And now, under new ownership, it's known as the Shack. Later on, in a little exercise, I like to call photographing a photographer. And next, I try my hand at street photography. really aware of what's going on around them or really too caught up in their day to day. Uh, capturing still life as it happens. BTC. Well, once upon a time, I'd take a bus from here to the college. Sometimes it's a bit wasting. Just wasting film for the hell of it. Sometimes just because I like how the evening light hits. Pandemic hit those days are long gone. It's a bit of a complicated story, really. But let's just say after I finished my degree in IT, I uh, took a bit of a gap year and a half. Took on some work study or student employment th type things and did a bit of digital filmmaking alongside it. Thirty-seven. 
seventh shot. So yeah, this is a bit unique as far as automatic battery operated point and shoots go and that it doesn't have a zoom lens. But at the end of the day, it's mostly just another snap shooter. If I were to rate this out of 10, I'd probably say about maybe a 7.5 or an 8. I do like how it's compact and relatively unobtrusive. I also like how it's fairly simple to use while it includes automatic functionality. I'm perfectly fine with the single focal length. In fact, I'd venture to say that might even be a good selling point for this thing, especially for those with zoom fatigue. It's a decently wide automatic point shoot that could work well for street photography. It's also fairly easy to load once you get past the initial awkwardness and figure out a slot in the film. I don't, however, like the fact that I can't test the shutter release without First loading in film or leaving the film loading door open. Somebody does a quick initial test of this is going to think it's not working. And last point to consider, we have this tripod socket here, but the shutter speed simply doesn't go slow enough for nighttime photography or low light without the use of a flash. I mean, this is, after all, something to use instead of one of those plastic fantastic fun cameras. And so yeah, easy load 35. The name has nothing to do with the focal length or aperture. And on that bombshell, I am out.